Hey guys, I demolded this mold, um, and I can see why I threw them away because it is no longer shiny at all on around the edges. Thank goodness the bottom is. Now all I've done was I took my little 3D Nutcracker guy and I glued him in there and I'm just waiting for him to dry. But let me just show you how cute so far that's going to be. Isn't that cute? And there's a little bit of room for shakers. And that's what he's going to be is just a little shaker dude. Don't put any water or anything in there. Um, that's it. I sold a ton of those, so those are cute. I'll make more of those, because I know that's perfect. Um, and I do have this one, which turned out really cute, to my surprise. If I can get it started, we'll get it demolded. Ugh. Come on now. Wow. It's saying, no, I don't think so, lady. There we go. Got it started, just got to break that seal. And this one's pretty easy to demold once you, once you can get it started. Ugh. All right. That looks good. I don't really see any bubbles. Something funky on there. I need to probably glue from my hands. I'll have to wipe that down. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just get that off of there. I have to glue this Christmas tree in there. Look how cute. I put some rhinestones on it. So I'm going to glue the Christmas tree in there. And that's all I'm going to put in that one. I feel like I'm still experimenting at this point. And of course, we'll make it a fat little mushroom again. Because that was just cute. Alright. Let me get this guy glued in there. Or wipe that off with alcohol. And uh, we will go from there, guys. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm back. I ended up uh, using UV because I'm not sure the glue that I usually use is going to be all that waterproof without it turning white. So the UV resin should work. I have put in some red glitter and my plain crushed mirror. Now I just need to put some water in there and we'll get the top on. How's that sound? See you soon. Okay, guys, I made a trip to the store just looking for stuff. And uh, I found this red ribbon, which I thought would be really cute around here. So, we're going to attempt a bow. Kind of hides the Christmas tree, though, doesn't it? I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. I don't think I'm liking the bow. What do you guys think? new no not for this particular project all right we'll figure something out but right now I need to um, I think I'm going to UV down the top Just because of the glue situation again. I need to dry it off really good. 
and we will come back to it. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. The glue has dried on my little nutcracker dude. And I picked out some uh, little doodads, some butterflies, a few leaves, and the little ringlet-looking things. And they came from uh, my nail art. And these actually came from Sheen. And I have like three or four pots. But I decided gold because I'm going to do green and red. Now the thing is with these, these are just shakers. There's no water or nothing in here. You want something that's going to make some noise. So I decided on some of my self-colored crushed mirror. And this one was done with um, my fabric paint. And you want to make sure these are not near the edge when you put them in. Until the glue at the edge dries. And you don't need a whole bunch. Just something to make some noise. And a few more. I love this green color. It's like a forest green. But it's Christmassy. And some of my red. And this one was done with my regular um, alcohol ink. And like I said, you don't need a lot because you don't want to cover whatever you've got in there. Now, you don't have to put something in the middle. You can just do it with stones, um, crushed mirror, beads, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your fancy. All right, I'm going to put these guys in there. Just kind of random because they will shake around. There's my little butterflies, leaves, those little rings, and I like those colors. All right. Now, this dreaded glue, oh my God, it's so messy. And you certainly don't want to use a lot of it, because we're not trying to completely seal it. Um, we do want it sealed because we want it to stick together, obviously, but we don't want it overflowing into the inside. So we're just going to kind of randomly put some glue here on the very edge, being careful not to get it over the edge because these guys will stick. And you want this to completely set up before you start shaking it. Which we're going to do and it's going to kill me. Because I'm going to want to shake the heck out of this. Let's see, I went over the edge there a little bit. And I don't want that. Because they will stick. Glue is really messy. It just keeps coming out. Which is, I mean, quite handy, I guess. Alright, now I'm going to put some on here as well. And just the very edges. Just in a few spots. Because that's really all I need. Let's see, I think I need to clean up this one area. And you do have a minute to work with this glue, so don't worry about that. Alright, 
and you want to carefully place. And any residual glue that you have, it will either peel off, like on, around the outside, it will either peel off or uh, you can clean it off with alcohol. All right, now we're not going to shake it, even though I really bad want to. But look, look how cute. And everything's magnified. I wish this was more see-through. But, you know, at this point, that old mold is frosted. And uh, I did not get to Hobby Lobby, which is where I got that um, coaster mold with the lip. But I am going to get some more because these are easy. These are easy. This one's not easy. <laughs> I'm making more, but it's not easy. All right, there you have it, guys. And clean up my tools. We'll wait for that to dry and then we'll give it a shake. Because that's satisfying. And we all love our satisfaction, don't we? I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. Here is the results. This is the snow globe. Christmas tree. Came out cute. This is the shaker. I uh, used my chrome pen and did um, gold around the edge. And you can hear his little shaking. I think he's adorable. So pretty. And everything's magnified so it looks like those stones are floating. Or the crushed mirror is floating. So pretty. Oh, look, he's got them in his eyeballs. Okay. Thanks for watching. These are getting fun to make. I will see you guys soon.